I wanted to talk about uh, oil skin, particularly uh, from Outback. This here is a newer oil skin hat, and I need to retreat it. Um, I've retreated it oh, probably almost once a year for the last several years. And this just went on an outing with me where it was quite cold rain, nonstop, and you can see a little bit of fading. Inside here, this brim, I removed. And the reason why I removed this was because this material here began bunching up and was getting uncomfortable against my forehead. Now the one benefit of, of having removed that is it did create a little bit more room and now uh, this hat will accommodate uh, buff headwear. So that's nice. There's something I can pull down, uh, you know, over my ears if, if it's a little windy, a little bit colder. Good hat. Okay, like I said, several years old. All right. I, I believe this might be the Kodiak model from Outback. Okay, now here is a hat that's about 30 years old, from the mid to late 80s, never treated. The difference in quality, in craftsmanship, okay, the older one being the superior quality. Let's take a look at this. Look at this hat. This hat is thicker. Look at the brim, the stitching in this brim. This is a well-made hat. Like I said, this has never been treated. Uh, I probably will this year, as a matter of fact, but it, it has not needed it. This one here has. This one will actually begin to leak along the seams. The older one, of course not. Now, I'm not saying don't go out and buy anything Outback. It's still, still good quality stuff uh, without you know completely breaking the bank. So now I'll compare, I'll, I'll show you a Outback coat. This coat is the same uh, age as the hat. Uh, uh, this hat, I'm sorry. Uh, these were both given to me by my father in the, and, and he purchased them in the mid to late 80s. So let's take a look at the quality. Okay, this stuff is thick and it still has a stiffness to it. Okay, when this was new, it could stand on its own, okay? Just put the coat on the floor, the thing would stand up. They don't do that anymore. They're all soft material now. Look at these pockets. Look at this fold over, this heavy flap. Everything about this coat is rugged. This coat has never been treated other than one time, which was last week, before I went on this uh, overnighter uh, in, in the constant rain. So I retreated this uh, before I went out on, on this particular outing. Did it need it? It's arguable. Everything about this coat is higher quality than the new ones you will get. Unfortunately, Quality is uh, sometimes a thing of the past, and it's, it's a shame to see a good company take a turn like that. You'll notice everything about the coat. Okay, is, is better quality. This coat is used, and uh, it's not shredded at all. Like I said, the, the new coats don't have the oily feeling as this one uh, does, and for sure used to. The smell uh, of this, uh, I remember, would stink the room up it was in. I remember my mother not being fond of it when my father had it on, especially in the car. Um, of course, there is the game pouch in the back. Now, I do like uh, oil skin quite a bit. It, it has its place. And I have a pair of Filson single tin pants that I wore in conjunction with this outfit and, and that, I, that I do wear in conjunction with this outfit uh, on, on you know rainy outings. 
oil skin's great in the fact that um, you can wear a poncho and go out in rainy weather. The problem with the poncho is the bagginess, okay? And trying to work with fire, trying to cut wood and do those things. Um, I would have shredded a poncho on my last outing, okay? Uh, you know, low to mid-30s, rain, turning to mix at night, uh, working with wood, sawing wood, chopping wood, splitting it, working close with the fire. I would have shredded it, melted it, um, it would have been gone. Now, having a poncho in your, in your pack out is, is a great idea, uh, especially if there might be some rain. But I'm looking at uh, a scenario like I was just in where it's going to rain. You know it's going to rain, and it's going to be raining the entire time. You leave to go to the, to the woods, it's raining. You get out of your vehicle, it's raining, and it doesn't stop. You break down your shelter the next day to go home, and it's still raining. Um, and, and that, to me, is where oil skin really comes into play, is, is, it, is its ruggedness. All right? It's, it's resistance to, to sparks and, and to abrasion makes it an incredible uh, type of clothing to wear doing the things that we like to do out in the woods. Campcraft, woodcraft, bushcraft, whatever you'd like to call it. Even survival. Even survival. Um, your clothes are your first line of defense. It is your first shelter. So if you messed up in that category, you're in a lot of trouble. The one thing about these is that if it does get cold, these will get stiff. All right? It'll be like trying to wear a piece of cardboard. So, for instance, on this last outing that I went on, all right, it was about 35 degrees during the day, 37 degrees during the day. I was near the fire. No problem. The stuff is, is you know, malleable. It has a softness to it. I went to bed, of course, not with the coat on. When I woke up, there was a light snow. Okay, it had gotten about 30, 32 degrees. Now this coat was very, very stiff. Now, I can't quite attest to the new coats, how stiff they are when it gets cold. But I know that these older ones get quite stiff. All right? It was almost, it had like a frozen feeling to it. So I had to slip that on and break through that stiffness. Um, that, to me, it would be about the only downfall. The other one might possibly be when you're wearing a backpack, this here can get bunched up when you throw your pack on, all right? So you have to be a little bit cognizant of that. Other than that, I have no complaints with this coat at all. And if I can get another 30 years service out of it, I will be a happy camper. That'll see me to the end of my days out here doing this stuff. But like I said, excellent construction, excellent craftsman in the older stuff. The newer stuff is still good craftsman. I do not want to steer anyone wrong and tell them that it's not. Unfortunately, it's not the good, as good quality as, as, it, as it used to be. These things here are great, too. Uh, zippers are fine, but uh, you start throwing mud, grit, and even a little bit of ice in the mix, and sometimes, sometimes your zippers, they just, uh, you know, they, they may not work properly. So if you do not have snaps or buttons, you may find yourself with a coat that will not zip. That happened to me one time in some very bad weather with a pair of um, uh, overalls. They, I don't believe they were Carhartt overalls, but it was that same material. And they only had zippers on the legs. They did not have snaps as well. And sure enough, I had a zipper malfunction and this leg was wide open. And then what happened? This side has the same thing of all the times it could go wrong and to have both legs do it. So there I was with my, uh, you know, overalls with just exposure to my legs in frigid weather. Um, had I had the snaps, from that point on is when I really realized that if you're going to take your gear out there and do things like we like to do, 
where you may be an hour away from a cell phone signal. All right, uh, 45 minutes, an hour away from, from a vehicle, let alone a cell phone signal. You don't want to mess around with little things like that. Don't, uh, you know, underestimate closures like this and what it can do. So if this, if this malfunctioned, of course, this, this wouldn't be a big deal at all. Like I said, folks, really, really good stuff. And uh, perhaps you can find some of the older stuff that, that's still in, in good condition. And I would recommend, if, if possible, getting a hold of that um, if you can. If you can't, the newer stuff is still uh, good quality. Um, I rate oil skin high up uh, in my clothing for, for the outdoors. Um, when this goes or this or whatever, I will replace it. Um, I don't know if it'll be Outback, the brand, um, but it will be some type of, uh, of, of oil skin. I like the uh, three-quarter length or half, or whatever you might call this, I apologize. Um, I did not want the, the trench coat, if you will, for, um, you know, woods bumming for bushcraft. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care.